So let's create a persistent volume uh, using the hostpad volume plugin. So I'm going to create a new file and we'll just call it local persistent volume.yaml. I'll uh, paste it in. So what we're doing with this resource is that we're trying to allocate five GB bytes of storage on the Kubernetes node in the folder mount data. And with the access mode of read write once, we're saying that the volume can only be mounted as read write by a single node. There are two other options that you have for the access modes. Uh, the second one is read only many, where the volume can be mounted as read only by many nodes. And the last one is read write many, where the volume can be mounted as read write by many nodes. One thing to note here is that these options or these access modes uh, also depend on the volume plugin that you've selected. So for example, the hostpad plugin only supports the read write once access mode, and so does the Azure disk plugin. However, uh, let's say Azure file or GlusterFS and a couple of other plugins support all three access modes. So let's create this volume. So we'll say kubectl apply minus f local persistent volume dot yaml. And if we list this kubectl get a pv, we'll see that there's the capacity, the access mode, the reclaim policy. Now the reclaim policy of retain uh, means that the Kubernetes will retain the data and it's gonna be up to the Kubernetes administrator to reclaim the space manually. The other two options for the reclaim policy are recycle, where the volume contents are deleted and delete. And that one applies to the cloud provider back storage, where the storage resource is being deleted. So now that we have the persistent volume, let's also create a persistent volume claim and show how we can request or claim some storage. So we're going to create a local pvc.yaml. We're going to paste it in. And using this above claim, we're requesting one GB byte of storage using the manual storage class. So this is the same storage class that we defined in the persistent volume. Uh, access mode uh, read write once, which matches the access mode of our volume as well. Uh, and this means that this persistent volume claim should get bound to the volume that we created earlier. So let's create this claim apply minus F local PVC dot YAML. And then as soon as this is created, if we uh, list the persistent volume claim, you'll notice that the status of it is set to bound and the volume is actually set to the local PV volume that we've created earlier. So if we list the volume as well, you'll see that this one is marked as bound as well. And this is the name of the claim that's claiming some storage on uh, on this volume. Before we create a pod that consumes this volume, let's create a file in the mount data folder on the host. Uh, because I'm using Minikube, I will use Minikube SSH to get onto the uh, host node. And then I will create a folder. So I'll create MNT mount data folder. And then inside this folder, I want to create index.html file uh, with some content. So let's just say hello storage, storage, and then we'll pipe this into mnt data index index.html file and run the whole thing as sudo. So if we try to look at the file just to make sure that it's created, uh, I actually have to specify the command. So it says, hello, stor storage. Now with this created, so we have something on the volume. So this is just, we're simulating some file on the volume. So I'm gonna type exit to exit Minikube host. And the next thing that we'll do is I'll create a pod that actually consumes this volume and uses this persistent volume claim. So let's create a new file and let's just call it pvpod.yaml and I'll paste the YAML in here. So what we're doing here is we're referring to the persistent volume claim under the volumes. 
So we're calling the volume uh, PV storage, and then we're saying this is the claim that we uh, this is the claim that uses or claimed that uh, storage or that piece of volume, and then we're mounting that volume under user share uh, nginx HTML folder, which is the same folder that the nginx image automatically reads for the index dot um, HTML file. So let's create this pod. So kubectl apply pv pod dot yaml. So the pod is created. Let's just make sure that it's there. Okay, it's gonna take a while. It's probably pulling the image. So it might, might take a little while. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to check if the volume was actually mounted correctly. So to check that, what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna run the port forward. So in the meantime, the pod is up and running. So what we'll do is we'll say kubectl port forward and we want to port forward to our pod uh, going from localhost 5000 to the port 80 on the container because that's the same container port that the image exposes. So let's do that. And I'll open a second terminal window down here. So the port, the, the, the port's being forwarded to, uh, the local host 5000 is being forwarded to port 80 on that pod. So if we curl to the local host 5000, we'll get back the response, hello storage. And this is the, th these are the contents of the index.html file that we added onto that volume.